Hello and welcome, my name is Bailey Moss and in today's video I'll be showing how you can create and leverage relationships in the Documents Core Pack Template Designer. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit that like button to get the latest how-tos and new features for all of our products. But all right, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, of course, I'm going to open up Word and I'm going to be starting from an existing template, although you can also start from a blank document to create a new template. Um, but yeah, and then next step is going to be to navigate to the MSCRM add-ons tab. And I'll go ahead and navigate to that. If you haven't already installed the Documents Core Pack Template Designer, I will be linking a helpful how-to video as well as knowledge base article in the description below. So once you're on the MSCRM add-ons tab, you're going to go ahead and hit Insert Mail Merge Fields. From there, you can see um, I've defined my entity type, so you will need to do that if starting from a blank document. This is going to be an account report where I'm in the relationship I want to bring in is related invoices and their products. Um, so yeah, so to do that, you can see I've select, I'm on the standard tab, which will be all of these standardly available fields on the account entity. Um, but what I need to do is go to the additional tab. From here, I'm going to hit add relationship slash entity to create a new relationship within my template to the invoice entity. So I'll go ahead and hit that and it's opened up, as you can see here, my relationship designer. Um, from there, I need to define the relationship and documents core pack supports one to many, many to one, as well as many to many relationships. So from here, I'm going to go and find account to the invoice um, entity. And so that's there. Now I need to define the fields I want to bring in to, to my template. In this case, it's going to be um, the invoice ID or invoice number and the total amount of that invoice. From there, I want to go one relationship deeper um, to the product entity or the invoice product entity. Um, and to do that, I'm going to go down here to link elements and hit add. One thing to note is that there is no limit on link elements. So you can go as deep in that relationship structure as you need to for um, your reports or templates. So from here, same thing, except now I'm going to go from the invoice to the invoice products. So let me see here, invoice product. And now I want to select my fields uh, that I want to bring in from the invoice product. In this case, that's going to be amount, um, price per unit, and product name, and finally quantity. Now one thing about the Documents Core Pack Template Designer is you have all the features and more of Advanced Find. So the first thing I want to do is add sorting. So I want to sort by the product amount and I want that to be descending. So larger amounts first and then sorted from there. So now I'm done with the invoice product relationship. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. And you can see it's there, so you can also select edit. Uh, but now what I want to do is actually test this relationship, see what it's bringing in. So to do that, you can go over to the result tab. And then if you know your record name, or you can hit search to bring up a search dialog. But in this case, I know it's going to be Northwinds Traders Northwind traders that I want to test on. So I'll go to that and you can see it selected it. So now I'll hit execute query. And so, yeah, this is the raw data that it's bringing in. It's bringing in my invoice ID, the total amount. Um, it's bringing the product name, the quantity, um, quite a bit of additional information. So you can test what it's actually bringing in based on your sorting and um, filters that you've set within your relationship. So now I do want to go ahead and add a filter to this relationship for invoices. So I don't want to see any invoices related to accounts that are under $2,000. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and hit add. And as you can see, there is a start record ID QID filter. All that's saying is related to the selected record. So you want to leave that alone um, unless told to do otherwise by our support team. So I'll go ahead and hit add here. And you can define and or or since this is just going to be a single filter, doesn't really uh, matter. So I'm going to keep that as and and hit add. And now I want to select my attribute, which is going to be total amount. And define my operator as um, greater than and then $2,000. So now um, that I've defined that, I can actually go back to the results, execute the query. And you can see now it's only showing me invoices with a total amount greater than $2,000. Next, I want to go ahead and set some sorting um, based on the invoice relationship, which I'm going to set as invoice ID. And I want to set this as ascending. 
Additionally, for filtering, you can also set up dynamic filtering, which we have a great webinar on that I'll link in the description below. So yeah, so now that I've set up my relationship, I'll go ahead and hit OK. And as you can see, it's brought in my um, selected field to the right side in this pane here. Um, so now I need to decide what I want to do with that relationship data. In this case, I want to create a um, dynamic table. So I'll go ahead and double click the first field in that table. So that's going to be quantity. And as you can see here, you have a few options. So you have insert new table, insert a list separated by a delimiter, which you can customize, or insert the first field from the, or the first related record um, from the relationship. Additionally, you can use this data to create charts as well as lookup prompts. So in this case, I want to go ahead and create a table with a header. I want to split that header and I want to split it four times. So I want four columns. So first I'll go ahead and as you can see, my first field is already in the table, which is going to be my quantity, but I want to go ahead and um, give these um, columns some names. So I'll go ahead and give this quantity and I want this to be product. This to be price and this to be amount. And so next I'll go ahead and insert my missing fields here. So I'll do product name, the price per unit and the amount, which is of course the total amount of that invoice product line item. Next, I'd like to set up um, some grouping for this table. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in uh, the field I'd like to group based on. So that's gonna be the invoice ID. So I want the products grouped based on invoice ID. To do that, I'll go ahead and insert invoice ID here, select it, and then go up to um, grouping here and select mark as grouping field. What this will do is insert a grouping header as well as grouping footer. And then you can actually go ahead and delete the field unless you'd like to keep it there um, that you used for grouping. So I'll go ahead and hit delete field. So next I actually want to change my grouping footer to show the total amount. So I'll just delete that out of there and to get some nice formatting going on. I'll justify that right. And what I want to show is total amount. So I'll go ahead and select total amount statically put that there and then insert uh, the total amount field there. Next, I want to set these as bold. So just a little bit of formatting here. I'd like to change this to uh, to be gray. And as you can see, you have all of the word formatting capabilities, of course, in Documents Corp back as well. So I'll go ahead and change this to yellow. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to save back my template. I've used that relationship that I created to create a dynamic table, set up grouping, sorting, and filtering. Um, and next, I want to go ahead and hit I want to save that back so I can test it. I'm going to save over my existing template. However, I do recommend template versioning when uh, making major changes to any existing templates. So I'll go ahead and hit save. Once that template is saved back, we can actually test the entire template similarly to how we tested the relationship. So I'll go ahead and hit choose data here. And I'm going to use the good old north winds. So I'll select north winds there select and now we can see what it's bringing in so yeah, as you can see it's brought in my invoice id the quantities and it's sorted based on amount for the products um, and then you've got your total amount there and same thing with the sorting here and it's filtered based on the total amounts none of these are less than two thousand dollars but yeah that's pretty much it my contact information along with helpful links to our knowledge base and webinars can be found in the description below if you have any questions or additional use cases please don't hesitate to reach out but yeah thank you for watching